I asked 12 web designers to show me their best work for the sole purpose of answering one question. Would I hire them? See, it only takes me just a few seconds to make this determination. That's why first impressions are so important. For instance, take this first example. No, I wouldn't hire this person based on this design because I am looking for something more unique than this. The dark text in the primary call to actions is bad contrast, but overall, I can just tell this particular designer is a few levels below of what I would like to see. How about this second entry? I am at least intrigued enough by what I see here to keep scrolling down. Now that is the first hurdle, intriguing me enough to keep scrolling. Most designers don't even pass this initial test. And based on what I see on the rest of this design, this is a pretty solid designer. How about this portfolio? No, I wouldn't hire this person, and the biggest issue is this desaturated photograph. This designer has to 100% get a much more professional photo, and one that fits with the overall design better. There's also just way too much empty void space in this hero section. Here's another portfolio. Yes, I like enough of what I see here to at least investigate further. I see some solid things happening here, specifically with their topography. Is it perfect? No, but it's definitely close enough to my liking. How about this layout? Perhaps, while there are some alignment issues like here and here, I think overall the rest of what I see here is quite solid and it would warrant scrolling down a bit more to see what else is happening. And also, if you really want to level up your UI UX game, definitely check out my interactive UI UX design course at designcourse.com. Here's another portfolio. No, there's just too much empty space, and I'm not a big fan of the topography used in the headline and the subheadline. How about this one? Maybe, because while there is a lot of clutter right here, I do see some other things happening that may warrant at least scrolling down more. And based on what I see, I could definitely work with this designer to improve some of the other areas. And in doing so, I would be able to quickly get them to an acceptable level of quality. Here's another portfolio. Absolutely not. I could tell that whoever designed this is likely brand new to the world of UI UX design. And any other recruiter would be able to quickly tell that and just hit the back button and go on to the next applicant. Here's another portfolio. Possibly. While this is a super simple design in the hero section, I do see enough here to warrant scrolling down more. And based on the portfolio work that I see, which they've intelligently placed directly underneath their hero section, I can see that they're definitely skilled enough. So how about this layout? Once again, possibly. I need to scroll down to get a better picture. And upon further inspection, I would have to say no, primarily based on the layout structure in some areas, which definitely could need some work, and also the color is used, which in certain areas definitely needs improvement. How about this SAS landing page? Yes, I definitely like what I see here. Everything is quite solid in terms of UI fundamentals, and there's also some subtle animation. And I can tell based on just this hero section alone that this person knows pretty much what they're doing. All right, here's another portfolio. Maybe I need to scroll down more on this one. While it's super simple, there are some cool things happening here with the colorful gradient and the borders up top. But unfortunately, as I scroll down, I feel the rest of the design is just not quite up to the level of quality that I would like to see. I asked 12 web designers, I asked 12 web designers to show me their best work for the sole purpose of answering one question. Would I hire them?